New Jersey Devils are very proud to select from Sheleftio, Sweden, Adam Larson. This will be the steal of the draft. At four, this kid is the steal of the draft. So 20 years ago, the Devils were delighted that Scott Niedemeyer fell to number three and became their franchise defenseman. And now Adam Larson goes down to number four, a right-handed shooting blue liner with lots of offense. He's the most experienced player available in the draft. I mean, three World Junior Championships, two under-18s, and he's played two and a half years in the Swedish Elite League. You know, the biggest thing about this player, when you think about New Jersey and how they've been decimated on defense, this is what you're looking at when you get Adam Larson. Awesome vision, composure with the puck, the ability to defend in one-on-one -on -one situations against speed, in containment situations, separating people from the puck, and then showing composure down low, being able to create breakout situations with that composure. The New Jersey Devils have lost Scott Stevens to retirement, Ken Danico to retirement, Scott Niedermeyer to unrestricted free agency, Brian Rafalski to unrestricted free agency. They need defense. They took John Merrill with the 38th pick last year, who's at the University of Michigan. Now they have Adam Larson. They are well on their way to being a better team. This is a great pick by the Devils. By the way, with Larson on their blue line, Schleftio in the Swedish Elite League went to the Swedish Elite League Championship Final for the first time in more than 30 years. And that was with a very young defense. They had three babies on that team. The draft eligible Larson, along with New York Ranger prospect Tim Erickson, who was drafted by the Calgary Flames, David Runblad, the St. Louis Blue first rounder. Those three young guys had a lion's share of the minutes on the Sheleftio blue line. And as you said, Gord, got them all the way to the league championship where they lost. He's a more physical defenseman than Victor Hedman, who was taken, obviously, the last Swedish defenseman to be taken so high in the draft. He's not as good a skater as Hedman, but he's probably got better hockey sense and more offensive ability. All right, let's go to James Duffy. All right, thank you, guys. So it's two Swedish players go in the first four, and Adam Larson goes fourth overall. Of course, we can also add Gabriel Landeskog, second overall, who'll go up there with Victor Hedman and Daniel Sedin, but only one, Matt Sedin, the only Swedish player ever to go number one overall, and that stays for one more year. A couple of Canadian teams coming up in our next segment, the Ottawa Senators and the Winnipeg Jets all ahead. The New York Islanders, though, are next at number five. Gar Snow and company on the clock as we continue on the 2011 NHL Entry Draft.